what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Justin Bieber has responded to allegations of sexual assault. On June 20th, a woman identified as Danielle tweeted a lengthy statement detailing an alleged incident that occurred in March 2014 at an Austin, Texas event. Her Twitter account has since been removed. A second woman identified as Katie detailed her account via Twitter following Danielle's post. Katie wrote that the alleged incident took place in May 2015 in New York City. Justin has not responded to Katie's allegations. Fam, let me tell you straight out the gate. These women sound like they're lying. I'll give you some of the details so that you can judge for yourself. In her statement, Danielle claimed that she attended a small event in Austin hosted by Justin's manager, Scooter Braun, on March 9, 2014. She said, my friends and I were enjoying ourselves the entire night. A man then approached me and my friends and asked us if we would like to wait after the show to meet Justin. Of course we said yes. My friends and I thought it was strange at first and sketchy, but as promised, we all waited after the show because we were fans. Justin came up to us. We took some pictures and chatted for about 20 minutes. Danielle continued that Justin and another man allegedly invited her and her friends to the Four Seasons Hotel. Once again, we said yes. We didn't think anything of it, other than hanging out with a huge celebrity. Danielle wrote this and also said, fast forward to arriving to the hotel, Justin's friend brought my two friends to a room and then he took me to another room. Justin had made me agree not to say anything to anyone or I could get in serious legal trouble. He asked for my phone and put it to charge. According to Danielle, Justin asked her to join him in bed. She said they kissed briefly and he pushed her to the bed. She said that she told him this is going too far. He told her to relax. He pulled off her underwear and forced himself inside of her. She said, as I lay there speechless, my body felt unconscious. I don't want to go into detail about what happened next. Although this was six years ago, although I was one year older than him, he was 20, I was 21. I was still sexually assaulted without consent. Can you be sexually assaulted with consent? Because you said I was sexually assaulted without consent. Okay, so that's her story. Today, Justin seemingly addressed Danielle's allegations in multiple tweets. In the past 24 hours, a new Twitter appeared that told a story of myself involved with sexual abuse on March 9, 2014 in Austin, Texas at the Four Seasons Hotel, he wrote. I want to be clear, there is no truth to this story. In fact, as I will soon show, I was never present at that location. He then shared numerous receipts and photos describing his alleged whereabouts around the time of the alleged assault. He closed his thread with, every claim of sexual abuse should be taken very seriously, and this is why my response was needed. However, this story is factually impossible, and that is why I will be working with Twitter and authorities to take legal action. Katie's allegations followed Danielle's on Twitter. She claimed that she was sexually assaulted by Justin Bieber in the early morning hours of May 5th, 2015 at New York's Langham Hotel. According to her statement, Justin allegedly kissed and groped her and then he penetrated her without consent. She claimed that she pushed and kicked and ran from the scene. Y'all believe him? I don't. Not at all, not one bit. Furthermore, it is being reported that 
Both of those tweets came from the same IP address. If this in, is indeed a false flag, the woman should go to jail. And I'm not talking about a pat on the wrist. I'm talking about a good five, 10 years. People spend a lifetime trying to get their reputations on track. Justin Bieber, you know, he got a rep, you know, I remember he had that song talking about black folks, calling black folks the N-word. This before he blew up, before Usher put him on. Now, he was a kid. So, you know, I ain't gonna spend too much time on that. But I reported this, not because I like the guy or something like that, but because his story is a familiar story. It is very easy for someone to point the finger and accuse someone of sexual assault without any proof. And oftentimes when they get discovered to be a fraud, nothing happens to them, but yet they just destroyed somebody's life. And look, a lot of times they don't even get discovered. They don't even get found out. So they have, imagine a number of people's lives that have been ruined, not just the guy. That's first and foremost is important the actual person has been accused. But imagine how it hurts his family. Taken away, if he got kids, taken away from that, his relationship with his woman, taken away from that, his family, the shame that's associated with it. Then you have to register as a sex offender, which is one of the most lowest things that a person can do. You know, to, to have to be associated with something like that. And nothing happens to these women. There needs to be, while, while we fighting for Black Lives Matter, while we fighting for these, uh, uh, while we're fighting for police reform, we need to fight also for these uh, uh, sexual assault reform, rape reform. We need to go into those type of laws and get those false flaggers because their asses are sick. And it goes without saying that they make it harder for the real victims of sexual assault to be believed. I mean, they just, they're just some of the most despicable people in the world to do somebody like that. The dude was with his woman on the night that he's being accused of sexually assaulting the woman in Austin. He's with Selena Gomez. And he arrived late that night. He had, the dude got all kinds of receipts. It's a good thing that he had those receipts because otherwise he would be up shit creek without a paddle because just being accused alone, you plant seeds of doubt. Even if you've, even if you've done nothing, as soon as somebody accuses you, then all of a sudden people's minds automatically starts turning like, damn, did he do it? Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. So now you have that stigma, that sexual assault, that predator stigma attached to your name, to your reputation. That ain't right, man. They need to get it for that. At this rate, men are going to have to start walking around with body cams. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?